roll this over and we got our square to the butt end of the vice or uh, the block over here and uh, we tighten her down we have the insert we now we ran through with the uh, uh, our one paper flapper like this and I think we got a good fit now I'm gonna use this half inch national fine bolt to use as a driver because I'm gonna lightly tap this in and it's pretty square but we, we should be able to turn that we should be able to turn that once it's in there let's see how yeah okay that's a nice that's a that's an excellent fit all right now we're we're flush right there And now we're going to get a small crescent wrench and, and uh, give that a twist. We want our we want the approach of our tool bit to be square. I like that, maybe. I mean, that went a little too far. All right, that looks pretty good there. All right, we were thinking about cutting it off after it was in here, but you know, let's let's make this a cleaner job. I'd rather just like file or sand uh, just the radius on the end of here. So this is like uh, half an inch proud sticking out here. So I'm gonna get a punch, and we're gonna drive it back the other direction there. There's a 3 8 diameter punch. Alright. Now we can go safely cut a half an inch off of this or a little better and then bring it back in and then just sand that face. But I like that fit. That's uh that's well worth buying a reamer to ensure a really nice fit on there. All right, we took uh, we took a little bit better than half inch off of there. We decided to go ahead and take five eighths because we know how how shallow these are, and we're going to protrude the sleeve a little bit and bring some of the adjustment into this position here. So. Here we go tapping it in again and I'm gonna just kind of yeah pretty pretty square and straight all right and we're just a little bit proud right here all right I like that we can finish that off Well, that looks like we got it pretty square too, right off the bat. That looks good. I like that. Okay, that kind of gives you the idea of the realm of adjustment. Over half an inch is, you know, three inches, and we're going to be, we're going to be at just, just under three inches or, or so. So we've got more than enough travel distance for this job set up with this sleeve right here. I got a three eighths uh, rod in here in the three eighths call it and we're we're working a three eighths uh, square hole here so all I did was bring this in close and I'm just getting side to side alignment strong enough or close enough so that we can put in two quarter inch set screws right here and here all right so I'm happy with that centering location there we also 
set our square on the block over here so that we're perfectly 90 to our opening our insert is in there and we like uh, its position as far as angle straight with the bar looks good and we're happy with that so we're going for our two set screw locations right now and here again we engaged our downward feed our tables locked our knees locked checking it all now all we're doing is we're just coming down to where we have a straight flat circle Okay, now we're going to come over to the next one. We chose a half an inch away. Let's see actually how much thread we got. That would give us that would give us almost a half an inch. We could bring this one down pretty close to the same. center drill but I'm just coming down and just barely putting a little dimple so that my drill will start straight because I don't have a small starting drill okay we're gonna drill and tap these out for a quarter quarter 20 thread for set screws Dress that drill. <clears throat> okay.
Mm, we're gonna have to take a dress of file. Alright, good to go. Alright, I got these two bearings in line here, even with the groove down here. We didn't have to dial them in because we got them set square. This is a uh, two fluted pin mill with the radius on here. We want to open up a pocket in here so we can see the bit, uh, get in there and uh, um, do some uh, adjusting and setting the bit. Also chip relief and things like that. So we're set up here in the mill and we're going to go ahead and come in. We're going to touch this surface and then we're going to make a pass cross. We're going to get to the depth and the opening we want on this side. Then we're going to undo it, clean our table and everything else, turn them around, put a flat parallel across both the flats, clamp them together, clamp them back down in line with the thing 180 and then machine the other side exactly the same. All right, now we're going to use flood coolant and I've got a couple pieces of aluminum flashing. I put them in on the brake and just gave them a little bit of an inch uh, uh, bend in it. And we're going to go ahead. I just take these big magnets I got and they hold it right in place. So they're easy little splash seals. almost equal with the, uh, the smaller of the two diameters. And we're going to set zero there. Alright, we're happy with the height, which is about one inch down, so we're underneath the bearing. And we're going to crank in, we're going to crank in a half an inch. Off for a minute. We got a piece of three quarters or five eighths brass key stock here and we clamped it to the flat so that we can keep these things parallel. Alright, we're going to break loose the clamps on the top here that hold them down. And then we should be able to lift these off as a pair. And Blow them off. Alright, 
blow ourselves off. Set these gently there. There. All right, now we're going to put these back on the opposite direction, all the way down. Both of these exactly equal, lined up with that slot. And then clamp down just like we did the first side. Double check that we are in line there. All right, now we break loose our clamp set up here. And we use our same depth, same height, same everything, and we cut the same groove on that side there. And we can start uh, putting up our aluminum shield on this side and let's go ahead and get in position here all right now we just eyeball straight across those two and equal with the front of our bit and we should be close to our zero that should be it right there That looks like it. All right. Now we'll crank in a uh, quarter inch. And our half. We took it two cuts, half inch, and then another half. All right. Back it away a little bit. All right, now we can start it. Come into it. Our juice, there's our feed. Alright, and then we put this up here so we're not flying the juice all over the floor. tap for three square head uh, set screws.
Now because we have to go in and out or pull the uh, the drill bit to do the rotating, um, we're going ahead and throwing in the tap just to go ahead and go down through the same hole. Alright, now we got those three holes drilled and tapped in each one. Now we want to put, we're going to put one oil hole. <clears throat> we're going to have this up upright. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to go ahead and move this so that we can spin the truck faster. All right, there we go. Okay, this should be big enough. This is about 200 thousandths here. 203 drill bit. And that looks like it's about a half an inch or so. Now we're going to drill through the aluminum and all the way through the bearing. Sink one out. All right. All right. Put the next one in. I think we're we're ready to assemble the boiling bar. All right. Now, first thing we gotta do is we're gonna loosen up this compound so we can swivel it around and we know that we're going to be pretty much equal on the carriage here because the radius room in between our things there um, that'll come into play all right now and I'm going to find the 11 16th wrench here there it is all right now we grab our cradles and this is the front one. We're just kind of guesstimating where these bolts go in here. All right. We know that these flush on the end or where they actually ride. Light snug for right now. All right, we'll get the next one. All right. And now, when we do the when we do the short tubes, we're going to have 
this in this section, this groove over here. But on the long ones, we're going to put it in this groove over here so we get a wider purchase and a better support, I think, overall. Okay, just snug. All right, now we're gonna slide our, our tube in. All right, and tape measure. We knew this was uh, like uh, nine, and a, nine and a quarter each way. Kind of puts it, by the way, we're boring 34 and a half inches. And using an eighth wrench here. We don't know the alignment yet, but we want to go ahead and some get it somewhere so it's not rocking. All right, now we're going to slide the bar, but same time we slide the bar in here. We want to go ahead and add our caps, all right? And we're just going to check our fit on the caps before. All right, caps going to go on there. And caps going to go on there. And we can get in and we can work the tool bit. All right. about over in the mill. Nice. Okay. Looks like here's another one. Yep. Good. All right. Now we're going to go ahead, <laughs> uh, we're just lightly loosening these, we, we, we can already tell that we're going to have to go that way with the carriage a little bit, um, or the cradle mounts here, but we're not going to, we just want to remind ourselves that. <laughs> Starting out, okay. We're just kind of guesstimating on that tailstock position for right now. And it looks pretty good. This still looks like we got to go that way about oh, a sixteenth of an inch. Almost wants to go on there. And look at that, you forgot to put the bearing on, Mr. Penner.
gonna take a little paper and go through that. Might be just a little burst on the oil hole that we drilled. Okay, a lot better. 